Okay, so if you are a fan of Naruto and are on the internet or speak about it prominently, you have heard the saying, Naruto is only good because of nostalgia, or some variant of the sort. And I'm sure you, like many others, are confused as to why this has become such a huge thing within the anime community. So my question is, if these people now are saying that they never have or recently stopped liking this series, what could have swayed them so much to where the only way they can see someone liking it is because of nostalgia? And so let it be known, I am not saying everyone has to like Naruto. My problem lies in this so-called criticism of the series that really isn't criticism at all. This is coming from someone who who actually read Naruto recently as 2021 and watched the anime as recently as 2021 as well. So this quote unquote nostalgia factor I wouldn't say really applies to me here as I finished the series so recently. As the anime I actually grew up on and would have nostalgia for are Bleach, Dragon Ball, and Pokemon and a couple others like Samurai Shampoo. And Naruto actually ended up being in my top 5 series of all time. So I wanted to go over in today's video why I think this take revolving around nostalgia is very far from the truth. And we have to start with the main character Naruto Uzumaki with one of the more compelling underdog stories with himself being the host of a world destroying tale beast Kurama since he was born, and his mother and father putting themselves on the line to save Naruto's and the village's life by sealing Kurama inside of him. So as Naruto grows up, he is often neglected by 99% of the village, only somewhat being liked and taken care of by Hiruzen, and his only friend we know early on on his life is Aruka Sensei, whose parents were also lost in the attack of Kurama. And I felt this is an instantly a way to get viewers of the series to get behind Naruto's back and root for him within just the first few set of episodes. And this also pairs perfectly with Naruto's personality, as he is a class talent type of person, but it's only because he wants to be noticed, as this is a way to hide his loneliness. Naruto's inner turmoil paired with his determination and perseverance helps to elevate his character to great lengths. These are best displayed in his first test with Zabuza and Haku, as well as when he was learning Rasengan, mastering Sage Mode and saving the village from pain, mending a relationship, and facing Kurama, the thing that caused him all of this pain to begin with, winning the fourth great ninja war, and ultimately defeating Sasuke and his ideals to get his friend back. And these are just a few reasons I love Naruto's character and also just think he's one of the most enjoyable MCs that through whatever it may be, he will not give up on his ideals. Now to talk about his rival Sasuke Uchiha, who I probably like even more than Naruto, but I'll keep it brief. I think his backstory of him witnessing his entire clan be taken out by his own brother and being the only survivor with no explanation at all is great. And this plays into his internal struggle throughout the series and suffers nearly the same amount of loneliness Naruto has, although it may not seem that way from the start of the series. With his story being dead on revenge and getting stronger, this brings Sasuke to very dark places and his rivalry with Naruto and race to defeat Itachi all the way up into the end of Shippuden is truly one of the best character journeys I have seen. And of course, there are many more compelling characters, I just want to touch on my favorites, but to name a few, there's Madara, Itachi, Kakashi, Obito, Pain, Tsunade, my guy, Sakura, Gara, Shikamaru, Jiraiya, Minato, and Orochimaru. This series also brought to me some of my favorite arcs, with those being the Pain Invasion, most of the war arcs, Sasuke Retrieval, the Land of Waves, just to name a few. And my final thing to add here is that this series also has top tier hand to hand fights and overall fights in general. So, to wrap up this video, no, I do not think that Naruto becomes someone's favorite anime as a result of a nostalgia, and I think anyone who thinks this way has a very bad understanding of the series and cannot come up with legitimate criticism for this series. My name words are Naruto is one of the most compelling anime when it comes to storytelling character growth, fights, and enjoyment overall. Thank you all for watching this video. I'm going to speak on this for a little while, so let me know your thoughts on Naruto, and if you don't like the series, let me know why your actual reasons that you do not like it, and I'll respect it. Peace.